Chipper United will be best remembered for one of the most chaotic seasons ever by a top flight soccer club in South Africa. Here's a look at why the decisions that the rookies have made this season have made people shake their heads in dismay. Firstly, on July the 9th, 2012, coach Roger Sikakani is fired after guiding the club to the top flight, with Mangoba Nliti brought in as his replacement. August 20, 2012, owner Chipim Pengesi fires Nliti after just two games in charge of the Chili Boys. August 21, 2012, caretaker boss Julius Dubé is asked to step in and coach the team. Barely a month later, they get their first point in the Premiership after a goalless draw against Black Leopards. September 13, the boss rehires Sikakani with Dubé kept on as assistant coach. Then September 26, Chipper record their first top flight win, beating Bloom Celtic 2-1 at Athlone Stadium. Three days later, Chipper signed a season-long sponsorship deal with Vodacom with the option of another season. Exactly a month later, Sikakani is fired for a second time after a 2-0 defeat to Golden Arrows, ironically coached by Mniti. And then Farouk Abrahams is appointed caretaker coach of Chipper. One day later, Sikakani he read about his sacking on kickoff.com's website and had heard nothing from the club itself. A few days later, Gift Sitole steps down as captain of the club but refuses to divulge more information. December 11, 2012, after several good performances, Farouk Abrams is appointed on a full-time basis, signing a two-and-a-half-year contract. But in January 28, Chip and Pengesi seals a deal for former Bafana Fana captain Bolelo John Mabizela, who is joined by the likes of Zongo, Siwakla, Stanton Lewis. And all looks good for Chippy United. By January 29, Farouk Abrams is actually fired from the job, despite the club playing some of their best football of the season under him. A day later, midfielder Larry Cohen is told he is no longer needed by the club, a day after tweeting, what a joke, seemingly referring to Abrams' sacking as coach. The same day, Pumalele Bengu, a player signed earlier in the month, is told he is no longer needed by the club, having not played a single game. And by January 31st, Wilfred Mugay left his job at Ajax Cape Town to take over as the new head coach of Chipper United, their fifth coach of the season, barely halfway into their first in the top flight. In the March the 22nd, Chipper Mpengesi announces he will challenge current South Africa Cape Town president Norman Orenser for the top position in the Western Cape. A month later, Wilfred Mugay gets the boot following a 2-1 defeat to Supersport United, having managed just one victory against Black Leopards. And a day later, April 12, Mark Harrison is appointed as Chipper's sixth coach of the season and tossed with keeping the club in the top flight. The big question on everybody's lips right now, what is next at Chipper United?